Okay, welcome back. So, this video is going to be about making a template in Canva and uploading those images that we sourced in our last video so that we can make a design that is going to be the template that we use for our social media ongoing from here forward. So, <clears throat> sorry guys. So, I, instead of going with the blue aesthetic like you previously saw, I actually decided to go with more flat lays that involve beauty and hair tools since we're talking about this being a hair care brand, quote unquote. This is just an example. These colors, and these images don't actually match up with any of my clients. It's just an example I'm using for this video. So what I did, let me go backwards here. What I did was I clicked on this green, upload your own images, and I highlighted all of these images and I hit the open button, which I've already done, and it uploaded. So here they are right here, already uploaded. These down here images that you see were already pre-uploaded for other projects beforehand. I have a lot of stock photos in Canva, so um, I had those from a previous project. So right now we've got this gold background. I'm going to get rid of that because it's not going to do us any good for right now because we're making image-based posts. I like to keep my image-based posts very simple because you're already going to get the color effects and the branding as far as like the, the fonts and everything. You're going to get that out of the text post. So I like to make my image posts really image filled. Instagram is image based like I told you before. And so what happens is when you post something, they scan the image and they don't tell you that they're doing this unless you're creating an ad, but they actually do it for all posts. They scan the image and if it has any type of text or wording in it, they show it less than if they were to just show a regular picture. So, um, and that also is, is concerning the size of the text as well. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. So I'm going to hit elements over here to the side, go to my grids, and click that one big picture there. So now I have, this is just a placeholder for where the photo will go. So I can drag and drop that photo. And voila, now it's sized to Instagram size. Here's the reason why I upload it into Canva. Hypothetically, right? You could just upload these pictures onto your scheduler and then when it's time to post on Instagram, it'll make it the correct size. But if you do this ahead of time in Canva, it makes your life a lot easier. So I'm just going to add some text. I'm going to hit the text button and I'm going to do some small image text. And I'm just going to put at my beauty brand. Let's just say that was my brand. Um, as far as tagging things, I like to do capitals because I want people to be able to see and this is my text uh, this is my text font that I, that I picked um, sometimes I like to space out the lettering because it makes it look a little more high fashion and I'm going to put that right at the bottom of the post uh -oh. I'm going to put that at the bottom of the post there so there we go that is just the basic template Minimal writing because I don't want Instagram to try to show this image less just because it had words in it. So I just put the words in there so people know where the post came from. If your caption happens to be really good and people share your content because the caption is good. I always tell my clients when I give them their Instagram packages that or when I deliver their Instagram content, use the images to write your best captions because the images are going to be shown more, which means your caption is going to be shown more. So I just hit this button. See how that pops up and it says copy this page. So I'm just going to do that. And that'll copy the exact same format. So I'm just going to drag and drop. And drag and drop that one. And see these images are more, you know, just high class beauty images. Now if you want because you can't always see this My Beauty brand at the bottom. You can't remember that. If you want, so for example, on this one, it's a little, you can click that and click the light. And, you know, you can move it if you want. It doesn't have to be in the same exact place every single time. I just make it in the same exact place because it's just easier to deal with in my opinion. So there we go. I have six posts done. Voila, just like that, five minutes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and click add a new page. The difference in between this button and this button is this is going to give me an exact copy of this page. 
And this is going to give me a blank slate, which is what I want. I'm going to go over here to background because now I'm about to make my text based post. I like to have navy as the primary color and gold as the accent. So I'm going to click navy for the background. I am going to click this right here and I'm going to copy it because I want an exact copy so that my posts have consistency. So I'm going to take that exact copy of that branding and I'm going to put it right down here in the same exact place as that other one. You see those lines that are popping up? That's to help me align. So this is telling me, oh, this is directly in the middle of the post, which is what I want. Okay, and I'm going to go over here to text. And I'm going to drop some text there. And I think my header text was somewhere. I don't know where my header text is. I don't remember what header text I used, but we're just going to make a selection. Okay, there's my general selection. I'm going to go over here to my Google document. And I'm going to copy. And paste. I want to get rid of that space up there. Let me go right here. Backspace. There we go. So now that's kind of small, so let's make it a little bit bigger. And maybe a little bit wider. Okay. Now, this only has one of my brand colors, so you have a couple of options here. You can either change the color of this text, maybe if you wanted it to be gold, you could do that. Or, I'm going to leave it white. You can go over here to where it says elements and click on shapes and that will give you some kind of decor options that you have. So if you want to do maybe a circle and it automatically made that circle yellow because that's my brand color but you can go up here and change that to gold. You can do that. So what you'll end up having is alternating of these photos and these. I actually don't like this circle. I think I want, hmm, I kind of want this triangle. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's all about what you feel your branch should look like. Oh, so this you can actually change. The two lines can be two different colors. But I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay, now you see how that went behind the text? When you click the object that you're working with, you can go over here and click Arrange, and you can move it forward, which will move it in front of the text. You see how the, the letters are now behind the triangle? Or you can click backwards, and then the letters come out in front of the triangle. So I did that. I think I want to make the triangle white and I'll show you guys why in a second. Um, it doesn't look bad like that with the white in the color. I want to see if I can kind of fade it in. That's nice. See now it's kind of like faded in there. And I'm also wondering, let's see if I can get another one. This is all about just playing around with like that looks kind of nice. This is all about just playing around with what you think fits with your brand and what you like aesthetically. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to distract from the actual wording. But I do want it to have like a very stylistic move. I think that's good. There we go. So this is going to be my this is going to be my template. Voila. I still don't have any of the gold though. I could just go ahead and make, uh, let's see, oops, I'm selecting the triangle. Let me go like that. I could 
think I'm gonna read the words gold, I guess. But I think it's this font that's throwing me off. You know what? I'm gonna keep that white. I'm gonna keep that white. I think it looks fine like that. I don't think it has to be both white and gold. But if you want to throw in the gold in there, you can do that as well. So I'm gonna copy that because now I have the basic template, which is what's in the back. And then I can go over here and copy my other. And copy my other. Quotes that I have. So I'm just going to go and copy those over. See how fast this is once you like do it in this order. I do this in this specific order every single time. Because it just makes it go a lot faster. And this is actually split, split up into multiple videos. But if you were to do this all at the same time, uh, it shouldn't take you more than about an hour to create a month's worth. Maybe a little bit more than an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. Now, if you've got a lot going on, or if you've got multiple pages, or you just don't feel like doing this, like you feel like your time could be better used otherwise, that's when you start deciding, okay, I should outsource this. If you're watching this video and you don't know if you should do this yourself or if you should just pay someone else to do it, that is all dependent on your time and the value you put on your time. So if you could use that hour and a half to talk to a client and you could make, you know, a hundred dollars or, you know, if you could use that hour and a half to be making course content or doing someone's hair, whatever it may be. If you're going to make $150 doing somebody's sewing and the hour and a half that's going to take you to create this content, you should just buy into the subscription, which is $39 a month, and the difference, just keep the difference. Because at that point, you know, your time is more valuable than what it would cost. Okay, so now I've got these posts and I've got my uh, picture posts and I'm just going to hit download. Now... PNG is what automatically comes up. PNG is the best because you can almost virtually stretch these images as much as you want and the pixels will adjust. So you won't get these weird pixelated funky pictures. We're not going to do PDF in either of these because these are not for print. PDF is usually for print. Um, and then JPEG is of course image as well, but PNG is just a better quality. You also have this option down here that's in beta for Canva that I see a lot of people not using and I don't know why it's awesome. It's animated GIF movie. Oh, well you can't do it with designs more than 10 pages. Okay, so we're gonna look at that in just a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download here and let those images download. I'm going to show you guys the animation after this downloads. 